Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So we are currently nine weeks into the NFL season, and unfortunately, the Browns will not be playing today because we are on our bye week. But I still want to go out my way and let y'all know. Well, this ain't really going on my way. I got to make content, you feel me? But I just wanted to make a video and let y'all know how the Browns have been through the first eight week, well, the first eight games of the season and what we should do moving forward. So first things first, I want to give us an overall grade of a C plus through the first eight games. And the reason why I say that is because I understand that we are five and three. You know, that's good to see because the Browns, we not used to winning. This is abnormal to us. So to see us have a positive record and be solidified right now in the playoff picture, you know, that, that, that that's something to be excited about. We was just 0-16 a few years ago, you know? But I feel like a lot of people are pretty much overexcited. When you actually sit down and look at the 5-3 and three record, the teams we lost to are actual comp. So that's nothing you know right there. We can't even hang with comp. The Ravens, they blew us out. The Steelers, they blew us out. The Raiders are not in that top tier of NFL teams, but... They do got good coaching. They got a good system. They got good players. They they came into a game where pretty much both teams were at a disadvantage due to weather conditions, and they defeat the odds. You feel me? Something we couldn't do. They shut us down. You know? So how can you confidently sit up here and be like, oh, my Browns 5-3, and three, we going to the bowl, blah, 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 when we can't even beat the best of the best teams or at least hang with them, you know? The wins that we got. We came from the Bengals. Two of them came from the Bengals. And when you watch both of those games, the first game, I feel like we had pretty much control of. But at the same time, we let the Bengals put up too many points. The second time around, it took a game winner for us to beat the Bengals. You know, that's not good. The Colts, um, the Colts, that was a pretty good game. Uh, I feel like Baker Mayfield didn't play as good as it seemed like on TV. But, you know, in general, you know, that was a pretty good game. But you could also make the argument that the Colts lost themselves that game. Dallas, we blew them out. It is what it is. We blew them out. But our defense is so trash, we can't even play prevent D. And Dallas came all the way back, and they probably could have won the game if they had better execution. And then Washington, just to be fair with y'all, we did beat them. But Dwayne Haskins single-handedly lost that team the game. We should have never been struggling to beat Washington. I'm just being real with y'all. So when we are 5-3, and three, yeah, it's good. But you can't just jump off your, you can't just be like, oh, we got an A plus grade, a B grade, anything higher than a B minus, you, you, got, you just got to sit down and analyze the whole situation with the team. Now, let's dive a little bit deeper. As far as offense, the O-line has been fantastic this year. Last year, the O-line was a big, big struggle. You know, it was, it was a huge issue, but this year, everything's been solid. Jedrick Wills, the rookie, he slid in at left tackle, even though his natural position is right tackle. He's been great. Yeah, he got a few holding penalties. That's what linemen do. Yeah, he got a few false start penalties. He'll be all right. He's been solid, though. Then you got Wyatt Teller, the guard that we traded for last year with the Bills. Slid right in at right guard. Has been phenomenal, you feel me? Dude has been great. You know, we didn't even know he was like this. He's been solid, and if he keeps it up and stays healthy, he can make a run for the Pro Bowl. That's how good he's been. And then a big free agency signing. Um, what's his name? Jack Conklin. Jack Conklin has been solid. No issues. He's been solid. And when this line is healthy, because we have had some injury issues, but when this line is healthy, pass protection, run protection, one of the best in the league, and I'm not even exaggerating. Now, when you start talking about the other parts of the offense, such as Baker Mayfield, you know, Baker Mayfield, I'm just not sure if he's the quarterback for our team in the future because, you know, when, you, when you're ready to win at a high level, you need a quarterback that's able to work with your offense efficiently. And I feel like Baker Mayfield is not able to do that consistently. Like, every single week, you don't know what Baker Mayfield you're going to get. And this is his third year, I understand, but you just don't know what Baker Mayfield you're really going to get. Just by looking at the weapons we got on offense, you know, his supporting cast, it shouldn't even like or it shouldn't even be like this. You know, everything should be pretty much smooth for Baker Mayfield. But for some reason, it's just not smooth for him. You know, um, there's been times he's looking at dudes and just don't throw him the ball. Um, he'd be scared to throw certain passes. Um, decision making is, is head scratching at times. 
Um, he is short, so a lot of his passes get deflected sometimes. Um, defenses early in the year were faking them out with their coverages. Uh, teams stopped doing that, but they were doing that early in the year, and that was messing with them. So, you know, it's it's a few. Oh, accuracy, very inconsistent. You know, so it's just you just don't know what Baker Mayfield you're going to get. And I just feel like if we ready to win at a high level right now, he may not be the quarterback for our team. Um, but when you talk about the offense in general, I like the way the offense is this year because you can tell Kevin Stefanski knows what he's doing to a degree. You know, it's pretty simple. Run Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb is our best player. Nick Chubb is our MVP. Run Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb is the man. You feel me? And when Nick Chubb needs a breather, throw in Kareem Hunt, a former NFL leading rusher. Throw him in there. The off, I mean, the defense is already worn down by now because of Nick Chubb. He getting easy yards, easy carries. You know, he looking like Nick Chubb Jr. You feel me? And then that opens up the passing game because now you can do play action because they scared you could run the ball. Um, then with the play action, that's helping Baker Mayfield because the decisions become easier. On top of that, a lot of the times he's rolling out on play action. We all know how Baker Mayfield is on the rollout. So it all works in our favor. But the issue I have with the offense is when things are not gravy, when things hit the fan, when adversity strikes, we do not adjust against the Steelers, against the Ravens, against the um, Raiders in the mud, in the, in the rain. You feel me? We have not been able to adjust. It's just like if it's not working, it's not working. We go go out there every single drive, try again, and just still get beat up on. No adjustments. And that's something that Kevin Stefanski needs to work on because teams are not going to keep falling for this. You know, yes, we got a good run game. But if, if all that is not booming, then what? You know? So that's the biggest challenge for Kevin Stefanski in the offense moving forward because this is very noticeable. And I feel like a lot of people are just not talking about it. But as far as injuries, you know, Nick Chubb will be back after the bye week in week 10, most likely. Um, you know, Odell, we without him for the rest of the year, but we'll be okay. I don't want people to keep saying, oh, we, we better without um, Odell. Don't say that because truth be told, we was going to be solid if we traded for Odell or not. But having a player like Odell on your team, especially in big games, you know, key situations, you need a player like Odell. So just throw all that stuff away. Now, as far as defense, Miles Garrett is the defense MVP. Miles Garrett, Miles Garrett been going crazy for us. You feel me? Like this is the Miles Garrett I've been waiting to see. I guess he just needs his contract to really go crazy and prove his work. But Miles Garrett has been going crazy. But my issue is outside of Miles Garrett and outside of honorable mention, Denzel Ward, what does our defense truly have to offer? You know? What does our defense truly have to offer? Our run defense has been a little bit better than I expected it to be. But as far as pass coverage, pass coverage is garbage. You know, it's, throughout the whole season, I've seen a lot of miscommunication, a lot of blown coverages, um, people just not being leaders on D. Um, then on top of that, we're slow. Especially at the safety position, we are slow. That's part of the reason why I feel like Carl Joseph is not starting anymore. Because yes, he did get hurt. But as you see, when he came back, um, what's his name? Harrison took his spot. Harrison, he's faster, can provide pretty much the same things that Carl Joseph can do. You feel me? Um, Carl Joseph, he's short, undersized, and if he's not hitting nobody, he can't really bring too much value. Um, Sandejo, self-explanatory trash. Don't understand why he's still starting, but Sandejo is trash, and he's too slow to cover anything deep. You know, he can't really cover too much field. So that's another reason why our defense is trash. And, you know, also on top of that, we're missing Greedy Williams. Greedy Williams, I don't know what's up with him. You know, the dude been hurt since he got here. Like, I don't know what's going on with him. But, you know, seeing that he's now on the other side of Denzel Ward and seeing what he can bring to us has really hurt because Terrence Mitchell is cool. But Terrence Mitchell has been getting beat up on a little bit, too, at times, you know, so. It's pretty much where I'm at, where I'm at with the defense. But on top of that, I feel like there may be some things going on with the coordinator because why is this, I mean, why Sandejo still starting? You know why? You know I just feel like it's some things going on with the coordinator too because um even Terrence Mitchell was better when um we had what's his name Greg Williams as defensive coordinator. I don't know, but that's just food for thought. 
And then last but not least, special teams. You know, special teams as far as kickoff has been trash. I feel like we've been giving up too many yards. Not really been too many times. We're just giving up too many yards. And one more thing, man. It's been like four years now. We still do not have a kicker. And like I said, in these key games throughout the stretch of the year, and when we get to the playoffs, in those key moments, when you can use a 45-yard field goal just to put some points on the board, Cody Parkey is not it. Cody Parkey is not it. He's shown his colors throughout the season, even when it counted and even when it didn't count. Cody Parkey has shown his colors that when we need him, he's not going to be able to show up. So I'm just letting y'all know before y'all even get mad down the stretch, Cody Parkey's trash. Cody Parkey's only making field goals because it's easy now. But as you see, when it comes time for, you know, the mental aspect to kick in, he's trash. So that's pretty much what I got to say about our Browns. Moving forward, you know, we get Nick Chubb back next week. Um, that's going to help out the run game, help out the flow of the offense. But moving forward, we just got to be able to compete with teams that are contenders because if we cannot compete with the best of the best, what's the point of us even going to the playoffs, you know? That's pretty much where I'm at. But overall, I'm excited about my Browns being 5-3, and three, having a winning record through nine weeks, being in the wild card picture. But I am not content at all, and we still got to get better. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section, some things I probably missed. Let me know everything. Like, comment, subscribe, and I got some more content coming soon.